Hello and welcome to Let's Play Privateer ASCII Sector with Juju. Wing Commander Privateer was made in 1993 and was an awesome combination of elite style gameplay, trading commodities and upgrading weapons and doing missions with the Wing Commander universe, which um, has a very special place in my heart, and I don't know about you, but anyway, I love Privateer. I love Wing Commander, and ASCII Sector is, is nothing like any, any of those things, although it does share a lot of common elements as the game was based on that franchise. You can get it from ASCIISector.net, the link will be in my sidebar, assuming I upload this video. Uh, and we're just going to jump straight into it with a new game. And today will be mail. So there's a commodity market and there are missions and you can go around. You can basically play however you want. That was us there, the green dot in the lower right hand corner. Standing next to our hash, which is our spaceship. Um, and there's a shipyard over here and like there's a new ship there I won't even bother asking about it because it'd be too expensive uh, there's the commodities exchange I can buy new things uh, well things to trade but for now I'm going to the equipment dealer and if you want to make a purchase or sell some of your sus stuff please use the computer terminal that human kindness does not exist in the future, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just going to buy some armor. I'm not really sure how necessary it'll be, but bet it's safe and sorry, I always say. There are ads, and it's quite cool. As you can see, this game is uh, takes its aesthetics from roguelikes is good because it means there are more gameplay elements to play with. Um, as the the original Wing Commander Private here was somewhat limited, this game even comes with like a quest maker and you can download new quests and all that stuff. But the the main the normal mission pack is seems to be pretty good to me. My friend, you look like a hard man. It kind of looks for dirty work, but this is just an agricultural base. We're farmers, not pirates looking to hide cutthroats and thugs. Now please don't make any trouble here. Sure thing, Barty. Barty the bartender. Alright. Talk to Al Shaw. Okay, you looking for someone to do a job? I don't know you. Get yourself a good reputation and maybe we'll talk. Yeah, that's going to happen a lot in the early game. <laughs> Montana Warner. You looking for someone to do a job? Not for rookies. Come back when you made a reputation for yourself. Halon Gilame. Gilom? Gil are you here for the beer or are you in need of a privateer? I'm a poet and I don't know it. I was waiting for someone else, but he never showed up, so I guess you'll have to do. I need you to go to Bloom in the Argos system and find Joseph Thornton. Tell him to stay away from Mima. The deadline is uh, some point in the future, and I'll pay you 2,353 free dots. Does that sound like something you could do? Um, perhaps. Uh, I know from experience that Argos is quite a while away, so I'll reject that for now and see if this last person has a better job. Well, he doesn't, so let's take it. Oh shoot, I missed. Alright. Lucky it was still available. <laughs> Alright, I think these are trees. I have no idea what this is, some sort of structure. But I can't interact with it at all. Actually, no, I do know what that is. That's a trading ship. Ugh, it's taking me this long. I've, I've played this maybe an hour in total. I still don't know everything about it. But <laughs> it's okay. It'll be a journey of discovery for all of us. Enter your ship. Yes, please. And this is my favorite thing about the whole entire game. Well, so far. There might be more favorite things later. But I can walk around my ship. And actually, uh, yeah, there's... That's a chair and a table there. There's a room there. I think this is my private quarters, I believe. So um, I might just go into my inventory and uh, just drop my thing and put my stun rod in my belt. Apparently, you can get blinded and poisoned. I think drunk and stunned aren't implemented yet, or drunk and poisoned aren't. I don't know. 
But um, hey, it works without him. So now I want to launch my ship. Use the ship controls. So ooh, there's exciting music happening. I don't know if you can hear the music, but oh damn it! Get away! Well, this is a good introduction to the weapon systems. At the moment, all I've got is a laser, but that seems to be all he's got too, and his little talon. And I think it's a retro or something. Uh, I'm gonna lock the target here, and I'm gonna send him a message. I'll slow roast your gut. Die by the very weapons you adore. That was a very common phrase in the original. Privateer. Oh, uh, oh, we're bumping into him. Yeah, we're gonna get him. Oh, there's a missile being launched. Either they're a really bad shot or got another person on me. Yes! And, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you destroy Retro. Okay, where am I headed again? Uh, look at that. No, you contacts. Deliver a message to in bloom in the Argos system. So, I don't see Argos here, so it must be more... F this is empty. I'm not sure if it's because the developers haven't gotten around to filling it up with things yet, or if I need to like buy a new map or something. <laughs> but maybe we'll find out later. So there's Argos. Gotta go through Plexus Minor. And I'll get there via Vortex Prime. Out of this menu. And so we've got some distance to travel. That's 168,000 meters, kilometers. Thankfully, we don't have to sit through the entire thing because we've got autopilot. Bing! Here we are. Destination in range. And some other features you, you may have noticed earlier. There's the shield indicator in the top left. There's a radar in the bottom right. The blue bars to the far right of the screen are my jump fuel indicators. So... Uh, we can't jump any more than four times. I think that's what it's trying to tell us. And we've got a weapons readout, which doubles as a another thing. Oh, ooh, uh, first jump! This is exciting. Hold on to your seats. Up! Ah! Boom! And we made it quite safely. Oh shit! Why does everybody hate me? Oh, wait, maybe he wasn't attacking me. Will be soon. Uh, let's look at our map again. I need to get to Vortex Prime. Oh, Plexus Minor. We're in Vortex Prime. Yes. Off we go. Yeah, I think that guy wasn't actually attacking me. I just happened to be in his way when I jumped through, which is pretty exciting. I don't know about you guys, but I'm breaking a sweat as we speak. I've got a red dot on my radar, that's a bit worrying. What does that mean? I didn't think my radar was good enough to tell me about red dots. Autopilot, engage! Um, okay, cool. Nearly there. There's another few thousand clicks. Whatever it is, the terminology. <laughs> Kids these days. Um, one of my favourite things to do, uh, well, I've kind of showed you it, but it's a nice feature, and I, I wish more space flight games did this, is I can actually leave my ship controls and have a walk around while the ship is in flight. I can't jump out of the airlock, unfortunately, but I think later on you can board other ships and, and uh, attack your passengers or whatever. And jump! We'll get sick of this, but it's still pretty cool. Bam! Alright. And the music's gone all intense and combat-y again. So someone's having a fight. No! Where are we going? Jump to Argos. That's the place. Okay, we're running up to the end of my video. My first video ever. Uh, let me know if there are any issues with the... Uh, sound quality or you just hate the sound of my voice. I've got an Australian accent and that might be a problem for you. I don't know. I'm sorry. 
can't do anything about it except badly fake. Oh god, what is that? Okay, tune in next time and we hopefully don't die.